Okay guys, we're going to look at the minor forms. We're wrapping this project 2 up, at least this first part. And we want to find the minor forms of our architecture. Now remember, we already did the major forms, which are pretty much like the outlines of the major forms of our building. Now your, your building may have a lot of boxes to it, and even if it doesn't, even if it has curves, um, we can do cylinders or boxes. Luckily, mine has a couple of curves, but I've translated everything into a box form um, for my measurements. And as I figure out what my minor forms are, which are in this case, the outlines of the windows. How am I going to break up those major forms? And so I'll do a little math, just like before. Take measurements from my image, multiply it by my conversion, which is 1.3, and then do that calculation, and then get an answer, and then transfer that to my final piece. Now remember, I'm using marker. I've actually switched to a blue marker just to show you minor forms. And I'm taking measurements with this blue marker just to help break that up. And I'll maybe take a couple more measurements. Now, your major forms took uh, maybe about 10 or 12 measurements to get everything down. Um, some measurements were guesstimated or rounded and we'll do the same thing here like i said you don't need to get super super accurate just do your best right there i'm measuring how far it, that line is from the distance to the edge or the corner of that section and we'll do that multiplication in our head luckily it's not a very big measurement so that's good for me i'm going to continue to do this and draw lines and look how I can even use the guidelines to help me figure out the direction of those lines. So right there I'm measuring how far that window goes from the edge, the left edge. And now I can complete that line and then hopefully help me complete that window or at least the top edge of that window. Okay guys, I'm gonna keep making measurements. I'm gonna fast forward through this and let's see where we're headed. So I'm starting in on that major form to the right and may start to make measurements from the corner of that building and I'm going to do this twice because it's a kind of a big area and I want to make sure that I get this line straight um, for these two big sections um, of windows. Now I'm not going to worry about all those little kind of u-shaped um, dividers in that big section I'm just worried about that larger cutout of that building, those two cutouts. So let's see, I'm gonna fast forward and see what happens. elliptical cutout from the front. I'm going to measure out a rectangle that it is the size of my cutout or the entire thing, the entire um, cutout for that. 
building that elliptical cutout. So I'm taking measurements from each side and notice that that ellipse is at the correct slant. It is at that same um, perspective. Uh, it's in the same perspective as that entire side. So my measurement should be pretty accurate. But I'm gonna draw a rectangle, almost as if a rectangle were surrounding that ellipse um, completely. And so I'm just getting measurements from the top of the building, uh, probably the bottom of the building, or how, how tall that ellipse is and where that um, ellipse sits on that building. And again, I can guesstimate and, and figure out where that might lie. There's the right edge, there's the left edge, and I can complete that by using my guides for my ortho lines going to vanishing point one. Let's see what happens when this gets finished. to draw my ellipse using a bunch of guidelines. Well, the first lines I want to make in this skewed rectangle um, that's drawn in perspective, I want to find the center point of that uh, rectangle and by drawing an X from each corner. And then I want to find where the uh, bisecting lines are for each side. So where I cut the shape in half on the top, from top to bottom and left to right. And this and these lines will help me determine roughly how this ellipse sits on the page. Now again, um, this building is kind of special in that it has this uh, circle cut out of it. And if you run into this kind of curved or any kind of rounded circle issue uh, where you need to draw a, a round shape in perspective, which is an ellipse, um, you can try this method or just leave it a rectangle. I don't expect you to know how to do this. And even mine turned out pretty rough. So it's not an easy thing to do. All right. Let's see where some more of these minor forms lie. That top section was so small I went ahead and did that freehand and I'm pretty happy with it. Remember guys, all of these lines uh, that you're doing for the minor forms will be in darker pencil. All of your guidelines should be in a really light pencil. And again, if you're not sure about something, always draw using a light touch. And then when you're ready to commit, commit. Good luck guys. I hope you have fun with this one. Take care. Bye-bye.